It's Friday, May 3rd, 2013. I'm Michael Shane, purveyor of fashion and fine taste. This is 90 Seconds on the Verge, presented by Virgin Mobile. Acer announced a number of new products today. The Aspire R7 is a Windows 8 touchscreen laptop with a twist. Its 15.6 inch display can be used in the usual configuration, or it can slide forward for an all-in-one look and a tablet mode. The company also introduced the Aspire P3, a convertible Windows 8 Ultrabook, and the Iconia A1, an Android tablet with the same screen and size as the iPad mini. The Aspire P3 is available now, and the other products will be arriving in the coming weeks. Nook owners, your app problems just disappeared. Barnes & Noble's Nook HD and HD Plus are getting software updates that will include the official Google Play Store and all the apps, music, and movies that come with it. Barnes & Noble has been running its own content and app stores, but the addition of Google Play will let Nook users access the very best of the Android ecosystem. The move will also help differentiate the Nook from Amazon's Kindle Fire tablets, which pull from Amazon's own App Store instead. And finally, Steven Soderbergh decided he wanted to write a novella, so he turned to the logical medium, Twitter. The director of Ocean's Eleven and Out of Sight has been publishing a crime story called Glue. It's made up of short, terse sentences with the occasional picture thrown in. Soderbergh started on April 28th and thus far has made it through 11 different chapters. That's it for today's top stories. Coming up next week, supernatural spectrometry. The new seance or a paranormal privacy invasion? 